What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial from Magic Shop by BTS. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what are the songs by BTS that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Magic Shop on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep this as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to 6th fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know for Magic Shop is the structure of this song. We're going to start with a verse, then pre-chorus, then chorus, then verse, pre-chorus, chorus again, then bridge, and then we're gonna finish up with one last chorus. And the last thing you wanna know from Attic Shop before we dive in is the four chords that we need to play this song. The first one is C, the next one is G, the next one is A minor, and the last one is F. And I'll have a beginner way to play that F chord in the pinned comment below, as well as chord charts for all the other chords for those of you who need them. So guys, Magic Shop is actually one of those really cool songs that is played with the same chord progression through literally the whole entire song. The chord progression we're gonna be using all the way through Magic Shop is gonna be C, G, A minor, and F. The only thing that's gonna change throughout the song is what we're doing over here on this side for strumming and for picking. So let's dive into verse first, since that's what we hear first in a song. So for the verse, we're gonna be using that same chord progression, C, G, A minor, and F, but this is a little bit interesting. We're actually only gonna play the guitar part on the C and on the A minor. We don't play anything on the G and the F. There's no actual guitar part on that. So what we're doing for those chords is a little picking pattern for each one. For your C, we're gonna play A, D, G, high E. We're gonna hang on that. We're gonna let that hang and we're gonna play that through the C chord and we're gonna let it hang through where the G chord would be. And then we're gonna go to A minor and we're gonna play this picking pattern. We're gonna play A, D, G, B. So almost the same thing, but we're switching up to a B instead of a high E on that one. And then we're going to let that one hang from the A minor to the F. So we really hang it out, let it hang out for what the equivalent of two chords would be. I know that's a little bit funky. The timing on that is just a little bit weird. It helps a lot to play this along with the song so you can get that timing down. But I'm going to run through it a couple times real quick so you guys can see exactly what it looks like timing wise. <laughs> From there guys, we're into pre-chorus. For pre-chorus, again, same chord progression, C, G, A minor, F, but this time we're gonna play through all of the chords. So again, really nothing crazy going on here besides our regular chord progression. What's interesting that's going on here is on this side. We're actually gonna have a build here. This is just gonna be strumming. So the first time we play through that chord progression, our C, G, A minor, F, we're gonna have single down strums for each chord. We're just gonna let it hang out. So we're gonna hit it, let it hang out, hit it, let it hang out, hit it, let it hang out, hit it, let it hang out. The second time we play through is where it gets a little bit interesting and where we start to build it. So whenever we go through it the second time, on our C and our G, we're gonna play four down strums per chord. It's gonna go. Then we go to our A minor and our F, and for A minor and F, we're gonna play eight down strums per chord. So we're gonna double time it. We're gonna go super fast, right? So it'll be like. So this is all building up into the chorus. This is what a build is. We start really slow, just with single down strums. And then we go quicker, quicker, quicker with the, the way we build it into the chorus. So anyways, guys, once all the way through that pre-chorus chord progression with that building strum pattern should look about like this. One quick thing I actually forgot to mention, that is what we're gonna be playing on the bridge as well. We're gonna play the same thing on the bridge as we are in the pre-chorus. So from there we're on to chorus. Chorus, again, same chord progression, C, G, A minor, and F. We're gonna have two strum patterns that we're gonna alternate between here. So we're gonna have a strum pattern that we're gonna use for C and A minor, and we're gonna have a strum pattern that we use for G and F. The one that we're using for C and A minor is gonna be 
down, up, down, up, down. So that's C and A minor. And then the only reason for G and F is gonna be a little bit longer, but really similar. It's gonna be down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's just kind of adding an extra, what is that, like a, a one extra up, down, I think. If I, might, I might be wrong on that. But anyways, it's basically just adding that little bit extra to the G and the F. And we're just gonna alternate between those two strum patterns, depending on what chord we're on for each chord throughout the chorus. So guys, once all the way through that chorus with that chord progression for Magic Shop should look about like this. Guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Magic Shop on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 595 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see a short daily preview of what song I'm teaching before I actually teach it, you can hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, I've gotten so many requests for Magic shop and it is an awesome awesome song for beginner guitarists to learn this one's really cool because it's really pretty much just that same one chord progression that plays through the whole song but it sounds like it's a lot more complex than that because of all the different kind of strumming and picking things that we have going on and I really like that it kind of adds a lot of like complexity and layers to this song without increasing the difficulty of this song which again it makes it a great one for beginners this is an awesome song i love doing bts tutorials you guys that like always request the bts tutorials y'all are always so kind and nice and always introduce me to some of the coolest music so anyways guys i had a lot of fun learning this one i hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it too and i'll see y'all soon